we always want to do something for our children. Uh, what better way to, you know, give them wind energy when we're gone, passed away, they're going to be able to, to capture the wind still. So we're doing something for our future. So we just released the second episode of our series, Revolt, about climate and energy in the heartland. This week we're talking about wind energy in Iowa. I'm Zach Toombs, I'm the reporter on the series. And I'm Kate Grumke, I'm the producer on the series. So in Iowa and across a lot of rural America, we've seen this hollowing out of their economy and from a lot of these small farming communities or manufacturing communities, um, really going back over the last 10, 20, 30 years. And wind, the wind energy industry is something that has helped bring back some of that that had, that had left previously. Yeah, it was really interesting being in Iowa where this is actually a really bipartisan issue. So Republicans and Democrats are really pro-wind energy. Right. Figure is something like 90% popularity in favor of expanding wind energy, which is yeah. really rare as you look across the country. It definitely felt like we were in this kind of weird wind energy bubble in Iowa, but in a good way. It was a really positive reporting experience, which you right. don't get very often. We're born the earth from future generations you know so when you look at it from your child's perspective they don't see the world the way we do anymore and in a few short decades what you're going to see is a group of decision makers that not only see us as good stewards of the planet but are starting to make policies that encourage that we met people who don't really identify as environmentalists but they are really into clean energy maybe they're yeah. farmers who have turbines on their land and Denny Frias for example a guy who his farming family has been on that land for 130 years and he is a, you know he and his family they are conservative folks in most respects but they they're very strongly advocates of wind energy and of that industry we've got to try to be as efficient as we can so we're not relying on on uh, fossil fuels to, to solve our needs. We're doing with wind, we're doing with, with crops. Tremendous advantages. Manufacturing in America has been on the decline for a while, so it was wild to go into a factory so vibrant, so diverse, um, and to see this place in Newton, Iowa, where 1,300, 1,400 jobs have been brought back after, during the Great Recession, they had some big factories closed, a Maytag factory closed. For yeah, factories that closed and went to Mexico. So the, the wind energy, case, right? yeah, this actually, I mean, it sounds like it's a made up story almost, like right. it's too perfect. The factory literally went to Mexico and then came back to make wind turbines, right. so. Wind energy's brought back 1,300 to 1,400 jobs in town. So wind energy has revitalized the economic uh, stability of Newton. It benefits the rural communities, right? Just these small towns just you know, continue to prosper. So this is the second of our six-part series called Revolt. We hope you'll keep watching.